first fish. Ah, little baby drum. Drum monsters of the deep. <laughs> about to let this go. Oh my God. Tybee Island is the easternmost point of the state of Georgia, sitting right on the state line divide of South Carolina and Georgia with the Savannah River splitting the two states. From Atlanta, Georgia, Savannah is about four hours and 20 minutes uh, adding traffic and maybe 30 more minutes to Tybee for a total trip of five to six hours in your journey. Tybee comes from a word in the Yuchi people's language. It means salt. The Yuchi people were a group of many tribal groups, and they often paired with the Creek or Muscogee tribes. During Spanish colonization, they warred against the English with the Spanish, and in the end, as with many indigenous peoples, they were still displaced to Oklahoma after the nation was settled under European rule. Pirates often used these islands in the inland areas for fresh water and to hide out from areas where they knew they had bounties. It was known, or is said, that they would bury treasure there. And Blackbeard, one of the most famous pirates of all time, was said to have frequented Tybee Island. Welcome to Tybee Island. I'm Joseph R. Wheeler III, and this is another episode of Honest Khan Outdoors Worldwide. Yeah, y'all. <laughs> Woo, am I getting a lesson. Every time I think it's over, it starts to like drizzle a little bit less and then it kicks back up. Just trying not to literally feel like I'm taking a bath, not even a shower, just a bath. <laughs> oh my gosh. But I tell you what, when I think about all the things that I want to accomplish in my life, and when I think about the things I want to do with Honest Con Fishing Tournament, with Honest Con in general, I always say fishing is a metaphor for life. So when obstacles like this come up and you find yourself weighing the odds and saying, you know, hey, man, I could, like I said, I could walk back, but I almost have like a quarter of a mile to half a mile walk back in this where I would still get just as soaked if I'm not willing to just safely wait it out. Like post up somewhere. Y'all hear that? You hear it going down. Now it might come back again because it's coming in waves of clouds, but watch that sun come back out and dry me up in an hour. And if it doesn't, then I'm just talking a bunch of big talk and I need to go on back and just say, hey, it was. I tried, right? Uh-oh, see, oh, that's the part. Mm. I don't play with that. So this day is just straight crazy, y'all. I'm about a quarter of my way back to where I gotta walk to. And look up, sun is coming out, rain stopped, clouds are starting to go away, even though they still are in the area. I still hear thunder in the distance, but it's not like hit it this way, so to speak. <sighs> I'm gonna take this chance. <laughs> it's alive it's alive it's alive hermit crab ladies and gentlemen how cool are you right now check them out check them out Man, you about to come all the way out okay i'm about to let you go homie i ain't trying to play fingers with you Tybee comes from a word in the Yuchi people's language. It means salt. The Yuchi people were a group of many tribal groups, 
and they often paired with the Creek or Muscogee tribes. During Spanish colonization, they warred against the English with the Spanish, and in the end, as with many indigenous peoples, they were still displaced to Oklahoma after the nation was settled under European rule. Pirates often used these islands in the inland areas for fresh water and to hide out from areas where they knew they had bounties on them. It was known or is said that they would bury treasure there. And Blackbeard, one of the most famous pirates of all time, was said to have frequented Tybee Island. robbing baby drum and every time they get hooked in the gill I know they're not gonna make it so I'm about to make this one some more bait salute my friend whoa I, I saw my line go jolt something popped my line crazy and tangled it up. I can get the tangle out, no problem. It popped the doggone rig off my line. <laughs> that was a fish. I mean, that was a monster. Because those were chunks. I mean, I split the fish in half and put it out there. So, uh, uh, and uh, by the way, this is 65 pound braided line. And my leader, not let me, well, my leader still, it's, it's, I ain't got some more, so. Hoo-wee. Um, can you say small shark or a ray? Look at the, look at the bite mark, y'all. This fish, first of all, let me explain something. This was cut in half, that's my cut. Clean cut, straight across. This is the chomp. It literally chomped that fish. You see the circle bite. That's the size of the jaw we're talking about. That could be a small shovelhead shark or something like that. There ain't no telling. Oh my gosh, whoa. Let's see what's going on. <laughs> hey, watch out, watch out. Don't get hit by the hook now. That's your first fish, boy. You done caught your first fish. <laughs> that is a drum. This is a, come here. Let me show you. Don't get near that one. That one's still a hook. Come here, let me show you. So, see how you got hooked? He can still go back. He's, so, he's such a baby, we're gonna let him go. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. He don't wanna be here and talk to us because he, he got his own life, you know what I mean? So what we gotta do, listen, look. I'm, I know you want to hold him. I'm going to let you hold him. All right. You're gonna, now, you can't, I ain't going to let you hold him fully because he's so strong. He'll come out your hand and poke you. You can touch him real quick. Don't rub him all up with your heel. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so let's go put him back. We're gonna, when I watch, watch your feet because you got hooks on the shore. Now, walk with me. Walk with me. Come here. This is the important part. There's two ways to catch, uh, reasons to catch a fish. You either catching them to eat or you catching them for fun. But when you catching them for fun, you want to keep them alive. Look, come here, come here. I want you to see this. So you're gonna let him go. Now he's now he can't get right until the water comes. So we're gonna let him wait for the wave. And when the wave comes, you'll see he'll he'll go. He's trying to breathe, but he gotta get in the water. So here come here come the wave. Look 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 look. Ah! Wait a minute. Here come. Here come. Here come. Watch this. Watch him. He's gonna wake up. He's gonna wake up when that water get in. Come on, let's help him out. He's, now there he is. Watch out. He's gonna go. You gonna put him out there? Okay, put him out there. Now if you pick him up, be careful. Don't don't grab his head. Just kind of slide him out. 
No, I don't. <laughs> oh, my. Why? Oh, fish. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Now, watch, watch. Don't go all the way. Don't go all the way. I'm going to let him go. Uh, there he go. There he go. There he go. You want to get another one? <laughs> you caught your first fish, boy. <laughs>
yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, maybe. Feels real nice too and strong as hell. Man. Ooh, yeah, yeah. This might be my first shot. <laughs> That I, maybe when I was a kid and did I do it? I can't even remember. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, man. Ooh. All right. Okay, jump with it then. All right. Oh, man. Here we go, shark. Yes. Shark. The bonnet. Yes, man. Yes. Respect, brother. Respect, respect. <laughs> oh no! Good. Say that. Ah, yeah. Come on up. Come on up. Come on up, so we can see you. Beautiful, beautiful bit. Yes. Look at him. Look at him. Oh. Look at him. Look at him. Man, that's a size too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a bonus. Yes, it yeah. is. <laughs> oh, right in the corner. Catfish stuff. Yeah. Ooh, now let's definitely try and get the least of weight if we can, but we ain't gonna stress it if you get crazy. Let me get my bag down. I'm gonna have to reach over you. I'm telling you now, I'm coming that way. Damn. Look at that. Oh, you want to do, I'm gonna say, if you want to leave him right there, I can. Okay. Nice. Nice, nice. Let me get my, oh man. Sheesh. That's all right. That's all right. Dog. I mean, that's all right. Check him out. Man, look at you. Ooh. <laughs> you want to hold it? Yeah, I will. Yeah, just... good over there. Yeah, yeah. What is it? Okay, there we go. Trying to get these on. I don't know. There we go. Now you're talking. This ain't even going to act right for me now. I guess it ain't meant. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to do that. That. No, I'm not on one. Okay, cool, cool. Yes, sir. Let me get in the light. Let me get in the light, though. If you don't mind, if I can come back here. Yeah, because otherwise, it's going to look like crap. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Much respect. God almighty, the way you feel, too. Ready? Yes, yes. Take as many as you want. Take, take a few. Oh, you got a few? You want a few more? Yeah, yeah. Three. yeah. Get them. Get them all the way in there. Get them. There you go. Get that. Get that eye. Yes, right. sir. I appreciate you, man. Yeah, just open it up uh, like a Open it up. Like, okay, I'm going to slow him in if you want. I yeah, want to just hold on. Okay. Gotcha. He'll get going. Ooh. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> appreciate you. Yes, sir. Man, you know, I've always had a thing for anything in the hammerhead family. Ooh. They're literally my favorite type of shark. And that's oh, hard yeah. to say because I love so oh, many yeah. different types of sharks. I love so many types of fish, period. But yeah. there's yeah, just yeah, something yeah. so amazing about an animal that looks this <laughs> different <laughs> from all the other species <laughs> of sharks. They are just so I'll do so a mind measure later and say, I think he was about 20 feet. No, I'm sorry. I'm just <laughs> About 15 pounds. Yeah, that's what that's usual about that. You gotta that? get up to 20 kids. 20, yeah. I think 28 stay right. Really? Pounds wow. They don't get very big. Yeah, yeah. Strong as I don't know what. And with that spread head and eyes that can see 360 degrees in any direction, in addition to their pure power and turning ability, whether hunting or fighting against a hooked angler, it's amazing. Amazing power, people. And the way they feel, they literally feel like smooth sandpaper. Most of us think most fish feel slimy because of the mucous membranes in most fish. Nope, not sharks, or at least these. They literally feel like sandpaper. And I was amazed to see the beautiful freckled black spots all over this fish. I had no idea they had that pattern. And it's very common with shovel heads or bonnet heads, as they are sometimes called too. So if you ever have the honor of catching one, trust me, you're in for the fight of your life and the beauty of seeing oh. one up close look and lo and behold, touching it. And if you're not going to harvest it, get too. it back in the water safe. I'm very proud yeah, of that idea. Yeah. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs>